pote. Fait que je sais pas. <rire> fait que c'est un peu euh, comme un bébé. Faut la, la, la surveiller un peu. Chloe reporting about the grade 4, 5, and 6 spelling bee that happens every year at HFS. The top 5 spellers from each class was narrowed down to the top 2 finalists. The top 12 finalists competed in front of the audience of the whole senior half of the school. Your word is the word ecstatic. Ecstatic. E-C-S-T-A-T-I-C. -E ecstatic. The HFS spelling bee champion was Evan from grade 6. Now let's go interview Evan. Hi, Evan. Hi. Were you nervous being in front of the whole senior half of the school during the spelling bee? I was actually quite nervous, as I have a bit of a fear of being in front of a large audience. And in grade 4 and 5, that's the reason I didn't get as far as I did this year. How does it feel to be the 2016 HFS spelling bee champion? It feels really good because it's my last year at the school. I worked really hard in grade 4 and 5, and well, I'm happy that it all somehow paid off. This is Sienna reporting from HFS Today. Grade 3 had a beautiful Havdalah celebration. They started the week by making Havdalah candles. The students and their parents shared a beautiful weeknight that transformed into an end of Shabbat. Let's go see some of the highlights. reporting live from grade 6 at HFS. Since early November, grade 6 has been working on a project called Kibbut Ava M. The meaning of Kibbut Ava M translates to honor your mother and father. Each student creates their own Bristol board presentation about their parents. For example, each student wrote a description of their mother and father. They wrote a, what they love about them and how they respect them. Now let's hear from Maura Karen and go check out some of the students' projects. Part of our Torah study was about mitzvat kibudorim, honoring our parents. It is beautiful to see how our students are learning about this important mitzvah. Skills such as reading and analyzing biblical text, learning different commentaries from the different sages as Rambam and Rashi, using critical thinking about applying this mitzvah in our everyday life. The Kibbut Ava M project is all about respecting your parents and listening to what they say when they ask you to do something. I made these two golden doors, like the doors to heaven, and wow. I made clouds there. So then if I open these, I made a giant scroll. I wrote about that, uh, that we all need to respect our parents no matter what, and how it was one of the Ten Commandments. I've also included a lot of pictures of me with my family. Uh, here are the Ten Commandments, and the Fifth Commandment is like sticking out because that's what we wrote about, and the title's in a big heart. For my project, I wrote about my parents and how I respect them and what I like to do with them. I just stuck my paper as if it was like a booklet, and then I just put pictures of me and my dad, me and my mom, and then me and my mom when I was younger, and then family pictures and me and my brother. Our students understand that God and our parents are in partnership, meaning showing respect and acting with respect to our parents is proving respect to Hashem, to God. This important mitzvah and value will be engraved in our students' hearts for life. This project is beautiful to their hearts and mind. Kol akavod kitava. Shalom, this is Sienna reporting from HFS today. Since last year, the grade fours have been the choir for HFS. They perform at different events for the school. The biggest event they've put on is the Zimria, where all Ju the Jewish school choirs come together and put on a beautiful night of music and Jewish spirit. Amen. 
about Purim at HFS. The day is filled with happiness and laughter. All the kids come to school with, with costumes, even the teachers. Everyone will get to hear the Megillah in the morning and take part in, in the school carnival. Shalok Milna will be exchanged and tzedakah will be collected for Mada. There will be helmet sessions for everyone. Let's go live to the Blue Man at HFS Purim Carnival. This is the Blue Man at HFS Carnival. Let's take you inside.